Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome back to another episode of Ridwanullah TV Life Maximization Show. I'm your host, life and business maximizer, Hussein Muhammad, working to help you completely maximize your life and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and inshallah, in today's episode, I wanted you guys to think about something that is extremely important. Um, and it is your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How you are treating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how you can improve your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's extremely important to ponder that and reflect on that for a little bit and think about that for a little bit. Uh, because that is quite honestly something that is on my mind literally 24-7 and I hope that it is for you as well ta'ala. and when you look at the grand scheme of your life and how to improve your life and how to take your life to that next level and you're considering everything but your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and or every other relationship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I guarantee you that is a recipe for misery 100% because when you lose connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Um, life is not life Because even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He says When somebody Turns away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He gives them A miserable life A life of distress And that is the reality that we face In our lives Because <laughs> You know We could be going through a lot in life But if one thing is correct everything else follows. If one thing is not correct, and everything else follows in a positive or negative way. So I wanted you to reflect on that for a little bit, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala, through this episode. And I just wanted to share with you a couple of points that I've been thinking about for a little while now. And, you know, for me, even though this channel, the, the basis of this channel is our deen, right? I had to go through a lot of things to be able to understand that reality that even though I'm covering topics in an Islamic way, it is not direct Islamic topics. So it, they are indirect topics that are covered in an Islamic way. And I think I need to find a little bit of balance on addressing direct topics uh, in our deen, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala, especially during the uh, Ridwanullah TV life maximization show. And inshallah, do it indirectly when I'm doing the business maximization show that you guys will be able to uh, watch ta'ala. So, you know, I try to do as many videos as I can. Uh, usually Mondays and Thursdays is when I post. Uh, Mondays I like to focus on life maximization. And then Thursdays I like to focus on business maximization and how to be able to develop that. And that's, you know, to come on that day. But today I just wanted to reflect on this topic, as you're watching this video, I want you to think about what is your, what, where would you like your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be? And ponder that for a little bit. You know, before you think about the other two questions that I'll be asking you, think about that, be then illahi ta'ala, and ponder where would you like your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be? Would you like it to be rock solid? Would you like it to be Whatever it is, how would you like it to be? Where would you like to be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So that is something for us to be able to ponder and continuously think about. And after you have a cl complete, clear and compelling vision of what, your, what you would like for your relationship to, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be, the next question that I want you to ask yourself before you start beating yourself up about, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and rightfully so, you should, to correct yourself, to admonish uh, ourselves, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala, as well as others within reason, with bil hikmah and, and, and good manners, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with both and more. Um, but before you start asking yourself all of the things that you're, you're, you're shortcoming on, you're insufficient on, and you're struggling with, I, like to, I would like to have you ask a very, very important question when it comes to your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this question is, is something that you could utilize in all other areas of your life when it comes to your goals and dreams. 
بإذن الله تعالى You know, and, and, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, this question, as I've kind of started to notice how powerful it is, I started to realize um, if, if somebody, if, if individuals after realizing their goal, just ask themselves this question, a lot of things will start shifting in their lives. Ask yourself this question in relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then ask yourself in relationship to your other goals, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. And the question that I want you to ask yourself is, how far have you come with your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, because if you stop beating yourself up about it, what happens is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will start to give you a little bit of contentment, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of gratitude in your life because that acknowledges what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you and that also acknowledges how hard you've worked in your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if it's a little bit even if you think it's insignificant you know even if you think that in comparison to what you did or are doing it is insignificant it is the reality that we're in that we have to Ask ourselves that question. How far mm -hmm. did I come? Bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. So, <laughs> you know, maybe this is the part of the reason why I, 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 I don't know, like indirectly avoiding talking about deen topics directly because uh, I get extremely emotional uh, when it comes to my deen um, because I realize how important it is in my life. It is... A point of sanity for me it is a point of reflection it is a point of happiness a point of contentment a point of return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know I, I, I try to do my best to remind people people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind myself of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we're human beings we are designed to come short but we're designed to strive as well we're designed to continuously overcome those shortcomings. We're designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to realize there are two stages in life, this dunya and the akhirah. This dunya is temporary, but the akhirah is everlasting. So it is a point of contemplation for the one who is ulul albab, right? And, you know, we have to reflect and, and, and realize the condition of our deen. Because the condition of our deen is the condition of our ummah, the condition of our reality. Um, and, you know, it's, 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 it's extremely important for us to be able to ponder these questions and reflect on our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about where we want it to be, first and foremost. And secondly, how far we have come. And then all the other questions about how can I improve? How can I get better? What am I not doing? What am I not achieving? How can I get continuously work on whatever you want to work on? Be the Nillahi Ta'ala. So I hope that this episode was extremely valuable and beneficial to you as it was for me. I really, really appreciate Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for giving me the opportunity to create such a show, to create such a platform that I can share my points of reflection in life because I've been through my... I've been through my own fair share of pain in my life, um, and I've had an abundant amount of pleasure in my life. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. But in any of those situations, I have to be grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for the unbelievable opportunities that He has given me, um, and the vision to be able to realize what is coming up in the future as well. Um, and you know, all of that came through my relationship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Because I guarantee myself and I know uh, and I guarantee you whatever good that has come in your life it is because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever evil that has come in your life it is because of your own self and evil soul that you continuously have to fight and struggle over to be able to improve your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khair. Uh, make sure that you continuously improve your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Um, don't lose your connection with the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and continuously strive for the great things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for us not only in this dunya but more importantly in the akhirah bi idhnillahi ta'ala my challenge to you is to take a few moments and reflect on and ponder on the on your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and see where you would like it to be how far you have come and what is left for you to get to where you want to be bi idhnillahi ta'ala um, Jazakumullah khair to the Ridwanullah family who continuously support this channel and subscribe. If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. That'll help us grow as well. And if you've liked this video, please press the like button and leave your comments on the link below. And share this with somebody who is struggling with their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to another episode of Ridwanullah TV Life Maximization Show. I'm your host, life and business maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, working to help you completely maximize your life and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.